In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector 365 for the Mac, I'd like to introduce you to the user interface. We're going to show you some of the main features of what you see when you load the program for the first time. There are three major panels in the program. On the left side, you'll find a panel that has multi-functions. It's a panel that has what they call rooms. In some programs, they're called bins. But there are seven icons that are stacked on the far left, and each of those shows a different way in which that room or container will show you different variations of what's available in the program for your tools. This is basically what I would call your toolbox. On the right, you see a preview of a video. I happen to highlight one that I brought in just for illustration. And you can see also a preview of graphic files. And you'll also see an icon if you have music that you've brought into the bin. And you'll be able to preview either the audio or video or both when you're working with that preview window on the right. That's also detachable. We'll deal with that in the future. Then on the bottom, you have the timeline. This is where you begin to build your project from one frame to another or one minute to another from beginning to end, and that's at the bottom. Let me highlight a little bit about the variations on the room area on the left. It starts out looking at the media content or media room. You can get there by pressing the F3 key on your keyboard. It starts out with media content and then color boards, background music, followed by sound clips. You can also tag anything you find in there in a project if you want. And you notice this panel is split left to right with a little blue arrow. If you have it open this way with the arrow, arrow in the middle, you'll be able to see the different categories. Now right now all I have in media is downloaded or nothing. When I click on the arrow, I'll see more in the room of what's there. You can also change the size of the icon display when it comes to using some of the tools here. You can also sort, and we'll talk about that later. If you want to see all your videos, you click here. If you want to see all your graphic images here, all your music here, and a combination, the other button. But that's your media room. You'll spend a lot of time bringing elements into your project by clicking on the media room. The next area outlined is the title room. When you click on the T, you find out here are the titles that you have. Now, when you become a subscriber of PowerDirector 365, you will download the basic program. When you download the effect packs, you'll see many more options than the ones we see here. But we'll be loading them one by one and showing you what each of them add to your particular copy of PowerDirector. But they're categorized, and we, if, I, if I click on General, I will see the options in general on the right side of the left panel. If I click on Text Only, likewise, I will see them there. And again, if I want more room, I'll just close the arrow and I'll see everything and I can sort it by clicking on the top rather than the left side. So that gives me the options of seeing what's in each category without losing any real estate in that panel. That's my title room. The third one down is my transition room. When I click on this, I find that the basic package without any add-ons has 132 different kinds of transitions. And again, they're categorized by one form or another. And when you highlight any one of them, you'll be able to see how they function with a click in the preview screen on the right side. So this gives you a way in which you can begin to preview your transitions. Again, there'll be more available as you download your effect packs, but it starts with 132. The next is your effect room. You want to add effects, and the, this gives you 85 to start with. You have several different styles. If I click, for example, on Special, I'll have a subcategory. Style, I'll have a subcategory. Visual, I'll have another one. Another subcategory is called Color LUTs, or Lookup Tables. And we'll have tutorials on that. There are several of these that are in the Effect Pack that you download after you've downloaded your initial copy of PowerDirector 365. It comes with none in the base program but others are available to you as a subscriber. The next one down is my video overlay or PIP room. 
And this gives me some PIP objects. We have, for example, a cloud bubble. We have different kinds of speech bubbles. There are nine available. And when you download the effect packs again, uh, that number will increase. The next one down is my particle room. Particles are basically pre-programmed moving objects. That's the best way I can describe it. When I click on them, you see the preview screen, the kind of things that they tend to do. And you can build your own particles in PowerDirector as well, uh, creating your own kind of motion, movement, variation. It's a very interesting program. The next one down, if we click on that, is my audio mixing room. And you will find a channel for every audio track that you have in your project. Right now, they're, they're all grayed out to some degree because we have no audio on any of our tracks in our timeline. But that's what this one's for. And then we have some less used rooms that are hidden under the three dots. If I click on this dot, I see I have a voiceover recording room. If I click on that, this will allow me to record, assuming I have a connected microphone, which I do right now, obviously. And then I have another option here that says subtitle room. It's grayed out now because you need something in your timeline that can handle a subtitle. You need content there. And, but when you have content there, this will light up and you have options on working with subtitles in your projects in CyberLink PowerDirector. So that shows you a little bit about the core structure of the interface as you load the program. PowerDirector 365 on your Mac.